All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to break down one of the better smaller school prospects coming out in this year's draft class, and that's going to be Delaware safety Nazir Adderley. Now, Adderley was a second-team APFCS All-American, first-team All-Conference this past season. He led his team with four interceptions, seven pass breakups to go along with 87 tackles, one-and-a-half tackles for a loss, and he started 12 times this past season. He also was a kit returner for Delaware. He had 149 yards. And he even scored on one of them. Now, Adderley is a great player, and you can just tell that he's just a gritty football player. And a lot of times, that's what you like in a defensive back as well. He has good size and length, but his tape has some inconsisten inconsistencies. That's a tough word to say, ain't it? Inconsistencies over the last year. And uh, we're going to check out some of those inconsistencies, but we're also going to talk about some of the things that he do well and the things that he don't do as well, I think can be changed and can, he can get better at with the proper coaching, but I think this kid is going to be special on the next level, mainly because of his athletic ability and just that, that go get it. He, he, he got that go get it. And all my football guys listening to this, you know what that go get it is. He's one of those guys that you want to have your back because he comes downhill. He may not make every tackle, but he's going to come downhill with aggression. He's going to come downhill physical, and he's going to come downhill looking to do some damage but also in coverage he's a great ball hawk he has some great ball skills lateral quickness is great he goes low to wrap up some tackles as well which helps him being one of the smaller guys he's about six foot well some people have him uh labeled as 5 11 but i'm going to give him six foot around 200 pounds he may put on a little bit more weight in, in the league but we're going to get to all of that sooner or later but one a few things that i did like about adley was that he high points all his balls he has great hops. He can go up and get it. And like I said, he has he has some good speed. I won't be surprised if he runs around a 4-5, around that range or on, on, at the combine and on his pro day. He has some great hips, and he's played cornerback and safety in, the, in, in college, and you can tell that's helped him. But he still has a few problems playing a little man coverage. But like I said, we'll get to all that. But just a fun fact about Adderley, he comes from – uh, a good family. His cousin is a pro, fo pro football Hall of Famer, D back Herb Adderley. Herb Adderley played for the Packers and the Cowboys back in the 60s, and he's a Hall of Famer. So Adderley has some some good genes going on right there. So let's get into some of the things that Adderley does well, and some of the things that I liked about this guy on film. Now, uh, one of the things that made him blow up and got him a lot of attention this past season was he pulled off an Odell Beckham impersonation, getting a one-handed pick and a uh, whether you're playing in the FCS, whether you're playing in high school, whether you're playing in the backyard, to make a play like that going full speed and, and, and in a big situation in the big game, you know, I mean, that takes a great player no matter what level we're on. And we're going to hear a lot about the – and you always do. When a, when a guy comes from a smaller school playing in the FCS and not playing uh, against some great D1 talent, there always is that question is how will he do in the league against some of the top talent in the world. And I don't think this guy – will have a problem. I think his athletic ability and he has that right mindset. He's just, he's just a football player, and I think he just likes to compete. He knows that he has the ability to compete. I think coming out of high school, this kid was a two-star recruit, so he already has a chip on his shoulder, which can help him and hurt him at the same time. But looking at him on film, I think that he will be a great safety for any team. I think that he uh, he uh, he's smooth in his backpedal game going in and out of his back pedal, and he can cover ground in the, in the center field pretty well. A lot of the times, uh, his speed helps him break up some passes. Sometimes he might back pedal a little bit too much, but that's, like I said, that deceptive speed, he has a great closing burst, burst and his length, it helps him out a lot. His size, he, he's a pretty lanky guy. He's what you usually see in the NFL cornerback, and I won't be surprised if he may be move to cornerback in the league i think that this guy could play safety for a lot of teams but at the same time if a team drafts him and already has two solidified safeties i think he would be a great nickel i think he could be a guy that comes in and, and make plays and be that added db in the nickel package i can see adderley uh, uh doing a lot of things for a team he, he's not afraid to get down in the box neither we talked about earlier how physical he is he's a physical player and he he's he's not the best tackler in the world but when he comes downhill he comes downhill and uh he wraps up on the legs which you love to see from a db not trying to go up high because you nine times out of ten not going to be bigger than anyone you're tackling unless it's a smaller slot receiver or something like that so i love to see him go down low and make those great tackles i think that this kid uh i think as a defensive back 
he has some of the tools that you want to see, but he also has some some issues that need to be corrected. And uh, one of the issues that I saw just watching him on film is that sometimes his play recognition uh, when it comes to his coverage duties as that deep safety might knock him off a little bit. Sometimes you can tell that he's focusing more on his target and, and, and his one receiver instead of actually trying to balance out the field. And I've seen some quarterbacks uh, look him off and just – Look, give him a look to the left and throw it to the right because he, he goes off of the quarterback's eyes sometimes and it's real inconsistent. You'll see him sometimes uh, play great and, and play a play the exact way it was drawn up and the exact way you would want your safety to play it. But then you'll see sometimes he can get man manipulated by either the play call or the quarterback's eyes, like I said. So that's one thing that he's going to have to focus on in the league, I think, playing against some of the better quarterbacks in the world, uh, regardless of what teams he's drafted by. He's going to play against some good quarterbacks, some experienced quarterbacks who, who knows how to uh, look off their safeties and, and, and just get them off their track. So that's one thing he's going to have to work with. And, and when it comes to uh, the run game, like I say, he's a physical player. But sometimes when Delaware will bring him down into the box as that added linebacker, you can see him looking into the backfield. And as a linebacker, you never want to look into the backfield because usually – most of the time, you're going to you're gonna mess yourself up. And a few times over the course of last season, we saw Adderley have that problem. Looking into the backfield, reading the flow of the offense instead of actually doing his assignment. And you can see the quarterback sometimes just cut back into a hole where he should have been and score a touchdown. That happened against North Dakota State as well. But uh, another inconsistency with his tackling is that he's kind of a grab and drag tackler. If you don't go down at first, he stops his feet on contact sometimes and just grab him. And sometimes the bigger bats, those bigger guys, can drag him downfield. Uh, he tends to he can he can tend to get himself out of play sometimes when the when the uh, ball is going to the wide side of the field. Sometimes his uh, angle isn't the best. He's gonna have to work on his pursuit angles, getting to the ball and. Not just don't run into that trash. You never want to block yourself, basically. Don't run into the guy trying to block you. You want to get to the ball, and sometimes he did. That just that goes back to him just being that physical player, though, and playing with that chip on his shoulder. Sometimes he just wants to run through guys, but a lot of times it hurts him more than it helps him. But that's one thing that I don't think would be that hard for him to correct and work on in the league. A lot of great coaches in the league, so whoever drafts him is going gonna, is gonna to have to make him a better player going to have to work on some of his fundamentals but athletically this guy is head above uh, most guys coming into the draft this year I think he's one of the better DBs I think he's I I think he's kind of slept on honestly I think this guy's going to have a huge impact on whatever team uh, picks him up whatever team has the chance to add him to their roster I think he can come in and make an impact maybe not immediately but I think down the line this will be a guy that will uh, help a team out eventually, and, and maybe it will be immediately, but I will say that whoever drafts this guy will get a great player. You're going to get a physical player. You're going to get a, a guy with some good speed. You're going to uh, see him make some great plays. He's, he's an easy glider when he's running. He, he, he runs really smooth. It all looks really smooth, and like I said, that speed, and, and it, it can... It can it can confuse you sometimes. You might not think he's that fast, but his anticipation uh, for getting to balls when they're in the air, breaking up these balls, and even forcing fumbles. So he does a lot of great things. Uh, he's a he's a, an aggressive player, which I love. Once again, uh, I think he has some great size. I'm excited to see this guy in the league. I'm excited to see how he does at the combine as well. Um, one of the questions about him was how well will he play in man coverage? Uh, he wasn't that great at, at, at man coverage and that has a lot to do with playing safety the last two seasons but like like I said he has a cornerback back background so I don't think it'll be hard for him to adjust his playing skills and work on his man coverage I think he'll get better down the line but Nazir Adderley has been fun to watch in college and I think he'll be even more fun to watch on the next level and guys as always if you enjoyed this breakdown make sure you like subscribe to this channel we'll keep you coming we're gonna try to post three videos a week uh, of different guys as the draft the combine is is here basically and, and it's about that time we're excited to see how these guys doing the league uh, thanks for all the support you guys have been giving us and make sure you leave us some comments on who you want to hear from and 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 if anything that you want to hear from us specifically but once again guys thanks for watching the gridiron soapbox we'll have more videos dropping later this week so make sure you stay tuned for those as well